What's going on guys? We're back with another video and today we're about to put the bed on the truck just so we can measure to make sure that I have my measurements correctly as far as when I cut the rear end making sure that the wheels go inside the bed and have enough clearance so that they don't rub and so that I don't mess up my step side because step sides are real expensive to change or fix so um, that's one thing that we're doing today uh, I got a couple guys that agreed to help me and uh, come slap it on and uh, right now I'm about to prep it up so that we can put it on there without the coilovers hitting or without the the wheels hitting on there right now so let's go check that out so guys don't forget to cop the merch we have these on the website till next month and uh, these are special order so every time you make an order just give it about five to seven days to process and uh, these are it man clean clean got my boy the single cab lives hat on and uh, let me take you in and uh, let's check her out. Pretty much how it ended up coming out. It sticks out, I want to say a good four inches. It's hard to tell because I still have my Panhard bar connected to the suspension. So it's kicking the rear end to one side. But assuming that I had a 10 inch wheel, I mean a 12 inch wheel with a 10 inch lip before, and I added pretty much just four inches of lip. I'm going to assume that it's going to be four inches that I need to cut off just so I'm in the same spot. Just, just confirm the measurement and once I do that, we'll pull the bed back off and uh, after that we can take the rear end off and pretty much drop it down, cut it up, slap the wheels back on and it should be good. Goes off. And today what we're gonna do is uh, we gotta take everything out so that we can pull those axles out and measure it. And then once we measure it, we'll be able to order the new axles four inches shorter than what I had already. And uh, once we do that, we can slap them back on and we're gonna cut the rear end before we do that. So we're gonna cut this off and then uh, cut it down from here. Four inches this way and then we're gonna we're gonna put that caliper underneath on the back side so because the back side has more room so I'm gonna clean this up just so we can make it to LST and then after LST we're gonna come back 
I'm gonna cut this off. And we might even do that now, but it just depends if we have time. I don't wanna rush anything and then have problems in the end. Take off the cap of the end, drain the oil, pull out these axles, and then we're going to hit the paw brother so that they can measure the axle for me. And then once they do that, we'll be able to order the new ones directly through them so that they can get it for us. And uh, in the meantime, pretty much it's going to take about three to four days for them to pretty much give me the new axles. Once they get them, uh, we'll have the rear end already cut and we'll just slap it back on and head to LST. Hopefully, we have a good time. Let's get to it. Snap on bus, just got here. Let's go check out what they want. It was good. Alright, so we just got out. Shit, another $400 in tools. Brothers. We already ordered the axles, so they should be here like I want to say maybe Wednesday or Thursday, and hopefully we can get some of this stuff cut out. And uh, once I start cutting it out, I'm gonna start recording again so we can might drop another video. But thanks for checking it out. We'll be back on the next time. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, got the merch, and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh.